This is probably the best view, I mean, for the next portion we're gonna check out. So this is for those morning people. If you get up early enough for the sunrise out on the dock, you might be able to see dolphins and a couple tourists still out after a night of drinking. Now I hear you. Cameron, why don't you go up to a really nice viewpoint and get a great sunrise? That was to see dolphins. Did we see dolphins? No. Out of all of the monasteries I've visited here in Montenegro, Sabina Monastery is something special. This basketball court is open to the public. Be warned, Montenegrins are the second tallest people in the world, so bring your A in. Looking for the truth, like God, show me a sign. I'm not religious at all. Check out Fort Mare. It's the first one on the line, and sometimes there'll even be events going on. These I consider the professional beaches. Nice canopies, chairs, they have a little restaurant nearby. The ones that are most rare, sand or pebble beaches. Check out this view. This one's three euros as well. sunsets. I mean, this thing is just wow. This is something you don't see every day. You have to check it out while you're here in Harrisburg Nova. Today, we're gonna to do the most popular thing in Herzegnovi, or at least the most popular thing with the best value. The church costs two euros, and then the other building that's on this little island is a souvenir shop. So now, get to wait 20 minutes while the boat left so others can dock. For Couture. This is probably the best stop along the boat trip. The town is within the walls, so everything little feels sheltered. The place to eat at is Taranaka Restaurant. This is one with all the vegetarian and vegan options. Plus, it's cheaper than the places that are within the walls. Pro tip. The way you get across the road is through the escalator. Part of the package is a swim. You can jump in if you want to, just can't do it from the top. Next star stop, Perast. This thing costs one euro to climb. Can we find a view better? The fortress isn't open. Might not be good because the fortress is what has the really good view. But uh, up here, 
It's okay. So the lesson here, just do the clock tower. Ooh, wait, this is it. from the earliest age of the guy who found it, of myself and another friend. So it's, it's the great, it's the three musketeers. And we just took the level of this festival sky high. Like we really, really have world-class artists here, people who do work for Image, Marvel, DC, Dynamite, Top Cow, like, wow. like Dark Horse, top-notch artists, like super famous all outside. And it lasts for six days and six different locations. It's a great way of connecting with people, of connecting municipalities. Things are free for everybody. You have an amazing mix of children and the older fans and the true fans and people who are just randomly there. And it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful human cultural mix. And then in Old Town, there's a morning market. Not a weekend market, a every morning market. While you're in Montenegro, you need to try some beer. Definitely go in the morning when it's fresh, hot, just right. And for coffee, head over to Fabrica, which you're gonna be expecting from back home. Espresso, Munich, it's a good morning. The chewiness is just right. Soft and battery tasting on the inside. Sometimes it's tangy, sometimes it's creamy, but it's always delicious. wouldn't be a good guide if I didn't mention all the shopping that there is here to do in Harris Novi. This entire street shopping. <music> Believe it or not, this is a museum. Let's go check it out. <laughs> While pictures weren't allowed inside, I promise that is something you have to see first. Three euros, you get to see the history of Herzegnovi, like how it was actually built. So all these walls and castles and forts, you see what they were before and how they got to this. It is the thing you need to see first. This is where everyone gets their sunset picture. I'll show it to you in the link below. Yeah, you can do that with sandals. Do you want just to uh, video or just, just that? It's for YouTube. Uh -huh, okay. So that's perfect. Okay. It's valid. So nice. Plus, a lot more people who speak English here than you'd expect. And every afternoon is a party. They even have an arcade. Tennis is really popular here. Bet you've never seen a bounce house on the beach. You have to check out Tito's Villa. I mean, this place, crazy. So this is why this entire building was built, is for these therapy rooms. I couldn't even keep count the amount of bathtubs. Thanks for watching. Please help me by liking the video or by watching the next one.